Hi, welcome to Get a Clue Casual Gamer, where we get a clue, C-L-U-E, about a game. And today we're going to be looking at a game that came out in 2018, so it's five years old now, uh, and it's called Dinosaur Tea Party. Hmm, look at those dinosaurs. I, I, I like the tea party part of it. I'm not sure about those guests, but let's get a clue about this game. C for components. What are we going to find inside this box? Well, we're going to find the rule book. And we're going to find a bag of bags. A um, stack of cards corresponding to different people coming to visit uh, and partake of your tea party. Um, all of these are the same characters that will be on the table. You will have laid these 20 cards out as a grid of five by four. And you're going to be trying to figure out which of these dinosaurs are actually at your tea party. Um, Yo, know, I did not silence my phone, so somebody just sent me a text. And you also have five player aids to remind you of the different traits that the different dinosaurs might have on their card. For instance, that's one of the cards. Beatrice has those, whoops, six traits right there. Okay. Um, also, you'll find a little bag with white cubes and they're like the... Um, they're, they look similar to the material that Project L, uh, their little uh, polyamino shapes are. It's kind of like a, um, not, not plastic per se, but more like a melamine or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have not punched it out. This is a game that I personally just uh, purchased this week at that wonderful friendly game store in Nashville. Uh, tabletop Hobbies and Games. And so these all need to be uh, punched out and each person will have their own set, one of each of the different traits. And then there's also little things that say, always says no, always lies, and switches answers. Hmm. Those are something to make it a little bit more difficult, I guess. Uh, that's it. Those are the those are the components, see, inside this box. Length of play, they say 20 to 30 minutes. And the truth is, once you really get into it and doing it, it, it really is a very quick game. So I would give it 30 minutes um, to play. Uh, it, you would need to, of course, lay out these and they were going to take up some space on the table. So, you know, you, you're not going to be able to do it on a... Uh, an airplane tray. <laughs> no, um, it will take a, a good gaming table, but, um, but yeah, that's it. That's length of play. Components and length of play really is a quick game. 30 minutes. Okay. We're done. Um, uniqueness. Does this remind me of anything? Uh, well, it's got a little bit of memory in it. Uh, it is a deduction game. You are deducing who is, uh, different people, what person do they have, what dinosaur do they have, um, and you're trying to figure it out. And to win the game, you need to figure out three. You get three sugar cubes, and you win the game. So you're trying to figure out different people's thing. If, if, some, if your dinosaur guest is, is um, guest, you just take another one off the, the pile and you now you continue playing. It's not like you, you're out of the game. You continue playing until somebody has guessed three guests. Um, so uniqueness, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a deduction game. Um, if you're going for mass market, it might be similar to guess who, if you're going in a hobby game, a uh, five minute mystery, uh, gives you something similar like that where you're checking off um, different uh, aspects 
of them. If you're going uh, for something a little bit bigger, uh, Mystery at the Abbey, uh, which is coming, uh, which is an older game, came out in the early 2000s, uh, but rumor has it that there is a reprint of it being done um, by a different comp different publisher, so it's going to look totally different, but it should play very this very similar. And one of the things, yeah, the way you're deducing um, which monk is the killer is by asking similar questions. You know, does he have a uh, cowl? Is he wearing? Is he Benedictine? You know, is he wearing brown? Is he wearing black? Is he bald? Is he? You know, got, beer you know it's like different things like that that's what this game is looking for the different traits to check off yes yes no no okay so then um that's uniqueness it, it really is similar like that uh ease how easy is it to learn teach play almost already you know like i say this is the rule book first of all the size will tell you not too much. Um, gives you the objective, how to set it up on the table, uh, the different dinosaur traits that explains them, and then the gameplay, the end of game. These are those quirks that can be, um, dinosaurs with quirks always answer the way their quirks say when someone inquires about a trait. Um, Beware, some dinosaurs have quirks that might cause them to give false answers. Huh. Interesting. But basically, the gameplay, right there. And after that, you've got recipes for tea sandwiches and oatmeal shortbread cookies. Or, yeah. And then the history of the game. It is literally this right here is the entire gameplay. So it is a very easy game to learn, teach, and play. How easy is it to find? How easy is it on your pocketbook? I mentioned that it came out in 2018. And um, because of that, um, I had been looking for it. It's been on my radar for a few years. And it's not the easiest game to find. Um, yeah, I went on Amazon and... Uh, I'm I'm not finding it. It's not there. I typed in the you know dinosaur tea party board game. <laughs> it's like I can't be more specific than that, and nothing shows up. I went on um, online to miniaturemarket.com and to um, gamers.com. Miniaturemarket.com has it. Oh, by the way, retail is $20. Very inexpensive game. Extremely inexpensive game. Retail is $20. Um, Miniature Market has it for sale for $16. Again, their usual 20% off. Um, but they only show one in stock. One. So if this really interests you, um, yeah, I would check it quickly. I went to GameNerds.com, and their usual price is $15, which would be 25% off, but they're out of stock. So why did I even bother bringing this game to your attention? Because if you have, if, if you have a local game store, or you come across it on the second-hand market or first-hand market, you now know the information about it. Retail is 20 and other places will be charging $15, $16. But your local game store, if you, that, that's why I bought it. I went into that store, I saw it, and I went, I don't think I've been able to find that readily. Um, so I took it. <laughs> it was like, we're going, okay, I want to take this one. And at $20, it is a very um, affordable game. And I will say that um, the construction of this box, pe people need to understand, mass market games are not made to last. They are made to be consumed and torn apart. 
this box cover is so strong. Uh, hobby games might cost a little bit more than mass market games, and scarily, not so much anymore. But they are made to be played and to be enjoyed for a long time. So, if this, if you got someone who likes, yeah, what a combination. Dinosaurs and a tea party. You got a kid who likes dinosaurs. You got another kid who likes tea parties. You can combine them both and play this. You got a kid who likes deduction games. It's going to be a very easy, family-friendly level game. It is not a complicated game. It's not a scary game at all. It is a wonderful little deduction game. So, there you have it. You got a clue about an, yet another game. One that came out in 2018, keep your eye out for it because it's worth having. Until next time, God bless you and your family and happy gaming. Bye.